So what's up guys? Um, today we'll be focusing on how we can um, automate or maybe make the digitization work in QGIS easier and better. Um, we'll not be doing so much of a difference we, uh, from what we do normally with the normal digitization, but um, I want to show you a, a few tricks and uh, tips on how you can make even, uh, your digitization even better and faster. So um, essentially, uh, during digitization, you have, uh, for example, you might get high resolution imagery that you want to digitize, for example, points, lines, or polygons. But uh, of, uh, at times, you have quite a number of um, attributes that you want to uh, to digitize or to add, populate in your data. So at times, you find that uh, during digitization, you might not uh, add all the data at once. But is that a uh, type of information that you may want to uh, actually capture while the digitizers are working on the data? So um, I load a layer very fast. So I have a layer called node here. And uh, I want us to explore the possibilities of having uh, different kind of attributes uh, that we know or that we have. So for example, um, we have this uh, node layer that uh, node layer that has a uh, five uh, no there are six six attributes uh, fields but um you can see there are some fields that are quite uh you can you can actually do uh, some classification with it uh or maybe you can actually quantify the information that you have so um the purpose of this video is to show you how you might uh, for example um if you wanted to digitize this layer I'll just talk the editing tool and uh, once I click that, I have to fill all these fields. So um, sometimes uh, due to human error and also the issue of time, it becomes uh, tedious and difficult for someone just to fill in all this information. So there are some fields that, uh, for example, if you are digitizing, uh, if it's ID, if it's, uh, for example, the owner, uh, for example, the status here, you might want someone while they are digitizing, they might fit the status. Then the rest, probably you might fill it later. So um, instead of every time the user uh, digitizes, they have to fill the status whether it's ongoing or active or maybe uh, deactivated. It's usually good to do some customizations to your forms uh, so that someone digitizing might have a, a better uh, digitization or a feel that they might feel that it's easier and actually faster. So um, what we'll be doing, we'll be hiding some of these fields. Some of them will be uh, drop down menus. Someone can select them. Uh, someone can uh, maybe highlight, uh, as we've seen on the attribute table. So we might make this column, which is a status. Someone uh, were digitizing, they might choose whether it's active, inactive, or ongoing. Yeah, so um, the rest, we want to hide them. We can add the, those later. So essentially, uh, as I've shown, when you click on this, you have to fill this. So um, how do you uh, disable all this? Uh, all these fields that uh, we are seeing here so follow along uh, and uh, this is QGIS uh, 3.0 uh, in other versions it might be different but uh, the concept is the same so we'll be exploring these and uh, we have some other questions on other versions you can always uh, maybe uh, leave, the, leave a comment on this video and uh, I'll be able to help you so um under the attribute under the properties uh, window uh, there's a section here that uh, all these uh, options all these tabs so we have the attribute uh, form so we want to edit our attribute form so that uh, it can feature uh, what we want on our map so um what i want to show is uh, again is a uh, once i click on this i have to fill out this so i want us to make uh, status to be choices and then we leave the rest so once we digitize we'll be just be showing one uh one option for choosing the status so um so uh we'll come to this section for the attribute form and then uh we get to fields so what we'll do uh we'll hide all these fields uh we want to hide all these fields and leave the status with a certain classification so um what we'll do we we'll come to the id here and then there's uh, a section here under this uh window so um, we have where we have the widget type. So you click on that and then uh, you get to hidden. Then uh, you get to name. So you go to hidden, location, you get to uh, hidden. So then uh, status, you want it to be uh, 
a choice field so this is a classification and then you have owner whom we're gonna leave as a hidden and then county you can have that as hidden all right so um so if i click on apply okay so if i try to digitize now i only have uh, one feed left again uh, you see there's nothing to select from because uh we've not yet set the classification so go back to the properties go to symbology and then i come to categorized and then i choose the status field and then i can leave that one there then i do classify so we can delete that and then you apply then okay so now i try to do that bingo so you see our classes are here so i can always digitize say whether it's a uh, inactive save so uh going save yeah so it's quite easy so someone can digitize very fast and um, when you look at the attributable the fields the status field will automatically be filled and then the rest will be left out so these ones someone can feed them later at uh, your own convenience so uh this is how you do your um, digitization so you customize the forms uh, at times you have data set that have even 20 or 30 uh, probably 20 uh, fields so you don't want the digitizers to fill all these fields uh, when digitizing because uh, at the time of digitization you want people to move the speed and also with accuracy so uh, that's how you do it it's uh, quite straightforward so uh, in, well, if you're using other um, versions of QGIS uh, it's not that uh, difficult under the properties here we have uh, instead of the attribute form we have fields so you'll always click on fields to open the dialog uh, with the, the various fields and then someone can select the different uh, 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 options that they want so yeah that's how you do it uh, it's quite uh, easy and uh, probably you have other opinions or other uh, options of how to do this so you can always share please leave a comment below and uh, share with us okay thank you guys and i'll uh, see you in the next round remember to subscribe to this uh, channel for more videos uh, on gis and uh, qgis i'll be sharing more this the coming weeks and uh, i'll be sharing two videos uh, every week uh, from now so have a good time and see you bye